Okay, this is on the Williams job, number 54749, still on 620 and 21 by Lincoln. Um, so if you come down the stairs, we have a full unfinished basement. We have replacing this furnace um, and replacing, it, replacing the AC with a heat pump, replacing the zone panel with a two zone system. Replacing this humidifier with a new one. Um, we're keeping this LED light. He took it off to replace the bulb, but he wants it back installed on his new system. Okay, so our new unit will sit on a base, furnace coil, and then I'll just give you one fitting. So your cut line is right here. Um, you have to put in your new dampers before you put your other stuff together, of course, but that's that. Um, okay. Your other cut line is just right at the filter box. You're going to keep this existing filter box um, and keep all the return air as is. Okay, I will make this a lot fitting so you can just screw on the front. Um... So, combustion air, it's not applicable. Um, furnace and water heater is separate. They do have a flex right here and they ended up putting a baggie of bags in it, but they do have an unfinished basement. So as of right now, it's okay. Um, your vent, I'm gonna tie onto the existing three inch PVC. Your gas, so from the cock, you're going to add, so just a two inch T with a drip leg to a 90, and I give you a six on a flex, and then a standard into your furnace. AC, I'll go over in a minute. The drain gets to the floor drain. Um, so standard order with humidifier. It does have this cover over that he put over the floor drain. But I did tell him to put a 90 on it and drill it through. So he doesn't have to rust, a, rust his new furnace. And he said he was going to do that. Thermostat. S40 thermostat, you're going to need to pull shielded wire, um, and they do have, so S40 on the main level, and then the other, I didn't write it down, but you know, the other zone thermostat for the other one. Zone panel, replaced with iHarmony. Dampers, you're going to replace both dampers. Humidifier, you're going to replace with a new bypass. Um, locate the new bypass on the return airdrop. Reuse all the existing 6 inch pipe and 90s. Um, you can probably reuse the water as well. Well, actually you can't. You're going to have to put on a uh, new water. But it is on the hot water. So you're good there. Just your water won't reach. Okay. Um, remove the humidistat and wire your new humidifier to be controlled through the thermostat um, and patch that. I'll give you a little patch for that. Um, Uh, reinstall this, so keep this LED light. You're going to reinstall the new one. Um, the homeowner took this out to replace the bulb and he is ordering a new um, foam gasket or something for this. So he'll have it all ready for you to reinstall. Just make sure you don't throw that LED light thing away. Okay. 
power. We used the existing 4x4 box and everything. Um, and let's go out to the AC. Well, I'll just say it first. Flush the 7 8 line set. I'm giving you a, a new big pad. Replace with Protex as needed. I'm ordering you six feet of seven eighths. Pull shielded wire to the unit. Reuse disconnect, but add a 30 amp QL breaker inside the existing disconnect and label. So I'll have Brian make two labels that say AC breaker and outside disconnect. Put one on the breaker right there and put the other on the unit outside. But the existing breaker is 40 right here, 40 amp home line, and our max breaker is 30. So let's take a walk out to the AC. It will sit on the south side of the house. There is no fence. I'm almost done. <laughs> So here's the AC. Gonna give you a new big pad. Work it in there. Just disconnect this your top power. Don't reconnect it. Um, reuse the existing disconnect, put a 30 amp breaker inside this disconnect. Okay. That's it.